Good evening guys and gals, this is North Shore Preparedness coming to you from the muggy shores of Lake Ontario. Today is Thursday, June the 24th, 2021 and uh, it's about, yeah, I think it's about quarter to eight or 10 to eight p.m. Uh, we have overcast skies, as you can see. And we had a warm, muggy day here today. So uh, this is about the last of the wisteria blossoms. I'm not sure if I can get under that and you can see the nice yellow that's up in there or not, but I just wanted to bring you guys and gals a, uh, a second update on the garden. I have been busy. Uh, I think I overdid it uh, the other day. Um, you know, I woke up yesterday, my stomach wasn't well and uh, my body was definitely feeling it. So I'll just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll take you around and I'll show you uh, what I got up to. And um, yeah, just a, a quick update, okay? So uh, I have planted in across this uh, this pepper bed here. Yeah, I, I do need to get in and take out a few weeds. Somebody tell me if that's a raspberry plant. Please and thank you. It just came up in here. Um, but yeah, I planted in uh, one, two, uh, where are we? Three, four um, jalapeno peppers in this pepper bed. Um, also, this girl here, this medicine plant. <coughs> excuse me. I uh, I put a stake in here, and as you can see, uh, I wired it in a little bit so that uh, it, it would lay down, and um, you know. Maybe uh, other things will shoot up. Now, what I have a plan to do here, I'm not sure if I mentioned uh, already, but I'm going to take those stones and I'm going to move them back and I'm going to double the, uh, the swift chard in this bed. So I went ahead and did that. Um, now, all along here, along the edge of this bed here, across the front of it here, up that way a little bit, all across in front of these tomatoes here all across the front of this bed here all the way down to here and up there where you can see the dark soil soil where it's been watered i've um planted in uh onion sets uh that bettina also brought me i didn't want anything she brought me to go to waste so i planted all those things in there um Obviously, I got this area all cleared out. I got uh, my uh, rocket stove moved. I got the um, raised bed I'm going to use moved, which I'll show you in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me, guys and gals. This bed over here, I got uh, a couple of cucumber plants planted in. And across the front of this bed, um, I had like uh, 10 more onion sets uh, left that I, uh, you know, the patina brought me. I, I didn't want to go away, so I put them in the front of that bed. Now, along the rest of this bed, as you can see um, from the areas that are watered here, this is a 10-foot stretch, two rows more of potatoes uh, that are in the ground. You know, I had some seed potatoes left over uh, from last year that I didn't want to go to waste, so I planted them in here, and we'll see how they do. Like, this is a more shaded area, so we'll just see uh, how we make out with those. Uh, but that's kind of what I've been doing. Yeah, I still uh, still got a bit of junk here and there. I need to pick up and clean up, but uh, it's just a bit of uh, a bit of garbage. You know, I'll throw that into a uh, a bag and I'll, I'll put that out uh, to uh, to get it out of there. But uh, what I've also been up to, as soon as I had that uh, rocket stove moved and my intended raised bed moved. I wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing with this raised bed, okay? For, now this is for my yellow beans, okay? So, uh, so what I got going on is, all right, see the dirt that's in here? All that dirt that's in there, except for one bag. I had one, uh, that's, there's the uh, debris of it. I had one uh, bag of uh, new uh, composted soil that I threw in the bottom of this, and the rest of the soil I took off of this tarp over here, which uh, was soil that I had, uh, in my potato buckets last year okay so i salvaged that soil you can see i still have some left there 
I'm going to make some hanging baskets and some other things out of that. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this bed here. Now, you guys know I had a real freaking problem last year with bunny rabbits, so what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to build a bit of a cage around uh, around this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, these wooden skewers, these wooden uh, bamboo skewers or uh, sticks or whatever, and I wire them in every inch or couple of inches up to about you know maybe a foot. So hopefully the bunny rabbits won't get in. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to use, uh, you know, I'll use some of this uh, garden wire. It's a dollar store item and I'll, I'll use my, uh, <coughs> I'll use my, um, you know, pliers and my side cutters to do that. Um, so uh, what else I've got going on uh, in this garden is because of the beans that I, I, uh, I've got planted this year in Solo Cups will be in here uh, tomorrow. Is I put these uh, longer poles in and I'm gonna wire these up just the same you know I, I'm gonna wire these up I'll start them down here so the the pole beans can can uh, can grab onto them and start climbing now the pole beans obviously they'll be able to climb up on the backs of these too uh, but I'll um, every uh, you know four or five inches I'll wire these up in up and through here now the cool thing about uh, these bamboo sticks and poles and stuff is if I need to extend the height of this bed, because I can go ahead and I can wire a stick in just like that to this stick and can continue the bed higher if the, the plant wants to grow higher. So. <clears throat> so that's a little bit about what I've been up to. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little update on that. I did take yesterday off. Like I said, I wasn't feeling well. I think I overdid it definitely in the garden. And you know, when I woke up today, I could still uh, uh, feel you know, that my muscles were uh, a little bit overworked. So I mean, that's one of the uh, one of the signs to kind of know your limits. Do what you can do. You know, as long as you do a bit every day, uh, you know, you'll be good, and you'll get uh, get some stuff done. Um, but uh, but try not to overdo it. So so there's a bit of an update. Uh, you know, number two for you, Auntie T. Um, I hope everyone is well and safe. And uh, that's pretty much what I got for you guys this evening. Uh, I cleared out this bucket here. This is what I had my time in last year. And there was some dastardly little weeds that looked an awfully lot like thyme uh, that got in there. And I ended up ripping out <clears throat> the, pretty much the whole bed, except for, uh, you know, once I isolated the thyme itself. So I do have a nice bit of uh, thyme. Um, you know that I can use I may leave it just to go to seed to reseed this pot but uh, you no know, we'll see how that goes but that's what I've got for you guys and gals I hope everyone's well and safe this is gonna be North Shore out for now